Ben. Do Mayo today. Hands and shout, Ole! It's Cinco de Mayo today. Clap your hands and shout, Ole! Go to Mayo today. Clap your hands and shout, Ole! It's Cinco de Mayo today. Clap your hands and shout, Ole! All right, friends. Happy Cinco de Mayo today. Today is May 5th, and we are talking this week about having courage. So courage is is push is doing something that you're scared to do. Like you're really scared, you're really anxious, you're nervous, you're like, but you do it anyway. You push through, um, and even though you're scared and frightened, you still have the courage to do that, even though you're just really scared. So have courage. This is going to be important because, you know, uh, for our fourth graders, I talked about this yesterday, you know, you're going into a new situation in fifth grade, and some of you may be moving and changing schools, and so there's a lot of you that might have some changes, I don't know, just kind of guessing here, and sometimes you're going to be really scared and frightened um, to, to meet new people, or what do they think about me, but you should always... It's scary to be the person who's nice first, but that's the way we make friends. So if we are nice and we show that we care and that we're friendly, then people want to be our friends. And guess what? They, we find there was really nothing to be scared about in the first place. So um, just have courage in your adventures and things like that. And um, I... Apparently, need to do better at my riddles because I think Jalen and Nick Liley guessed my riddle again. So, maybe I'm going to find a new one tomorrow and see if you can guess that one. <laughs> yes. So, the answer to our Marita riddle and give you the answer. What can run and never walk? Has a mouth but never talks. Has a head but never weeps. Has a bed but never sleeps. And the answer is a river. So there's saying as a riverbed. The mouth of the river is where it empties into the ocean. And um, so those are just different aspects of a river. And usually when a river is beginning in the mountains, you'll hear they call them babbling brooks or things like that. And you'll hear it sounds like it's talking because of how it's flowing over the rocks and stuff in the mountains. So, yes, it's a river. Good job. All right. Our quote is, don't be dismayed at goodbyes. A farewell is necessary before you can meet again. After moments or a lifetime, meeting again is certain for those who are friends. And we are friends. And we will meet again those of you that um, will be back at Heronville, we'll see you in the fall, and um, we will go from there. We, I know we all, all of us teachers, we miss you so much, and I know we love you, and you know, we really want this to, we want everyone to be safe, but we are ready to get back to being with you in person. All right. Announcements. There is enrollment going on for pre-K kindergarten. It's probably best if you guys try to do that online. So those of you that have, if parents are watching with you. Again, you need to like our Facebook page at on Harrenville Elementary because we share all the links to that. So it's easy just to click a link to get to something. Um, and um, we keep you updated on just any changes. So that is a great way to keep in touch with us. And the other thing I wanted to say, we have packets in food today. So you have that's open until 1230. So run by and grab your food and you get your packets for this week. This is the last week for packets. There won't be any next week, but food will continue through the summer. And that's another reason to check the Heronville Facebook page is because details about that will come out on that page. So be sure to like that. And, um, believe, oh, read. I haven't talked about reading in a couple of days, but you need to read for 20 minutes. 
to do here, Sully. He's telling you, read for 20 minutes. He's saying, do it. You're going to be smart. And it'll help. That's what he's saying. I, I totally speak baby. <laughs> All right, friends. I hope you guys have a great day today. I hope that it's going to be cooler today. So um, it's still going to be nice to get outside. And um, we will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have. And this is, oh, Teacher Appreciation Week. That's also what's going on. So there are ways to um, show your appreciation. Again, that is on the Facebook page. And um, so that is another resource. I will look at that a little closer and maybe we'll talk specifics tomorrow um, about what those ways to show appreciation. You can um, take a picture of you with a thank you card. You can email them. You can, there's other, there's several ways that you can reach out to your teacher to say thanks and appreciate all that they do for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sully is being talkative today. All right, friends. I hope you guys have a great day. Again, we miss you. We love you. We can't wait to be back together. All right. Bye. <laughs>